Welcome to Ron Will's Money Matters. Pay attention to trends that can impact your business. Now, in a previous podcast, I used the example of Blockbuster. When, you know, this little little known streaming service called Netflix started to pop up, Blockbuster may or may not have been paying attention to them. Oh, but they would notice the impact later on because it just changed the thing because, you know, Blockbuster, you go there and rent out movies and everything. It was a big thing. Uh, the places were all over the place. It was a big deal, big deal, especially in the 90s. All of a sudden, this streaming service came up, you know, and that came up because of, uh, you know, the expansion of broadband and everything. And all of a sudden, people were tapping into that, and that affected the business. See, when you in business, I don't care what business you're in, you got to pay attention to every little thing. Let's say hypothetically, right? Let's say hypothetically someone creates some type of robot or AI that can actually do plumbing work. Like it could actually move around, it could it could do get in those weird places and everything. Now it seems impossible, but you never know. You never know. All of a sudden that affects the whole industry. And that's with a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. Uh I'll tell you what. One thing that uh, the book industry, the bookstore industry is coming back a little bit from this one trend, but it affected my business greatly in the early 2000s and that was the advent of ebooks that the advent of ebooks you know where people could just really if they wanted something all they needed was a computer or and this is even before smartphones uh, really hit the scene you know they just needed a computer and then you know they could just download an ebook or a pdf of an ebook and they didn't have to a lot of times they didn't even have to spend money and it was right there for them. And that had an effect on the industry. Now, the industry is coming back a little bit, but that affected a lot. There were a lot of bookstores that went out of business. There were a lot of bookstores. And even now, the bookstores are coming back, but they, the bookstores had to adapt. They had to do stuff. But that affected the business. You know, that affected my business. I was like, wait a minute, people ain't getting books as much. Now, yeah, they still getting hardcovers now, but it's a different. Or let me, um, here's an even bigger trend, ubiquitous trend, Amazon. Amazon's affected a lot of businesses. Or even this thing uh, recently with the COVID and people being locked down. Amazon's exploded. Online delivery, food delivery, stuff like that has exploded. And now it's becoming easier for people. So even when COVID dies down, even when they say, okay, it's not a major pandemic, that's still going to be an issue. That's still going to be an issue. And see, oh, when you're in business, it's important. Yes, you want to do your business, right? You still want to do your business. You still want to, you know, expand your business. But you got to be paying attention to outside sources. You always got to be saying, okay, what's the trend? What's the trend? What's going on? So you understand with business. The key to understanding business is demographics. Yes, demographics. And not just the number of people, but what the people do. What are their buying habits? What are their spending habits? What are they into? That's the key. That's the key. Like, um, for example, I was at uh, my local mall a few days ago. And I'm going to be real, the local mall, is the stores are emptying out. There's a lot of empty spaces, and this was happening before COVID. This was happening before COVID, right? So you have one major department store there that's that's still there, but it's, it's, it's damn near empty. I mean, even the jewelry stores are going out. You know, you and it's becoming one of those type of malls where they lucky they had that one store that's doing well that can still draw some people, but it's mostly empty. Even during uh, the holiday season, it was uh, mostly empty. But I noticed what was still selling in there. Like two of the stores that are still in there, they're the type of stores that cater to, like, uh, I would say that goth crowd. That goth crowd. You know, people want to wear those funky type of T-shirts or you know, have those trinkets and everything. I'm noticing they still doing well. They chilling. 
And in fact, no, there's actually three stores in there like that because one is a kind of a music store and they got like kind of that type of vibe to it. And I'm like, oh, okay. So as soon as I, I, I really paid attention to that, I said, okay, that's telling me who's in this area. That's telling me about the young people in the area, what they're interested in. But that's a trend. You Like, you always want to say, okay, it, it comes down to what services people are going crazy over. What are they buying? And you pay attention to the people. Always pay attention. Like, just keep your, keep your ears to the street. Uh, social media, pay attention what's happening on social media. You know, because one of the stores, I mean, the, uh, if you notice, the stores that sell smartphones, the businesses, they still there. They, they not bothered at all. But a big thing is people getting smartphones. That's a trend. And indeed, that's part of my money-making thing is content, content, content. You know, when I really first building on, on social media, because at first I had very little presence, but then I said, wait a minute. I paid attention to one simple thing. I said, everybody got smartphones. Smartphones need content. People ain't just on the phone texting and everything. People, a lot of time, if you think about it, most of the time, people hitting like uh, sites like IG or Pinterest or stuff like that. And I said, wait a minute. People need content. <laughs> they need content. So I was like, upload, 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 content, content, content. That was the trend. That has been very lucrative to me. So you always want to pay attention to the trends. Pay attention to what people are doing. When you're out and about, pay attention to what they're wearing because fashion is still a big deal. Like uh, on this channel, I've talked about the, even though it's an uh, overabundant industry, T-shirts. T-shirts. And a lot of people still make money just by putting stuff on T-shirts. I mean, if you, if you can tap into the right, you got the right saying or something or something real cool, you can still make money off it because it's ubiquitous. Yeah, it's a ton of them, but people got to wear clothes. You know, pay attention to what they wear. And one of the things I'm seeing, leggings. Leggings. Like, yeah, and I know the fellas like, yeah, we like seeing these women in the leggings. But remember, at first, that wasn't a big deal. First, At first, people, the women had to get the leggings maybe at some sports store or something or Maybe a tiny section in a big department store. Now you got whole stores, like big stores, that all they sell is leggings. That's the trend. That's the trend. And see, maybe you could be like, not even make leggings, but say, okay, let me make some T-shirts that go along with them. Let me make some jewelry. Like, what are people wearing? What are they eating? What are they drinking? Always, always pay attention. Like, a big thing that's happening is the... Uh, Vegan restaurants are starting to grow more and more. That's because increasingly people are becoming vegan. That's, that's a big trend. Pay attention to that. And pay attention to whatever the trend is. Think about your business. Okay, how is my business impacted by this? Sometimes it could be positive. Hopefully it's positive. But sometimes it could be negative. Sometimes it could be negative. Like, okay, let me say with the vegan thing. So a lot of, there's vegan restaurants rising all over the place. And even mainstream restaurants are offering vegan um, dishes and stuff. You know, vegan burgers, those impossible, uh, I think they call it impossible. I forgot right now. It's slipping my mind. That happens sometimes. I'll be recording these in the morning. And, but that's affecting people. So if you, like you might have like just a standard food and your business might be going out. You got a franchise or something. A lot, it's, a lot of these old school restaurants are uh, disappearing. A lot of them because people changing their eating habits. That's a trend. So you always want to pay attention to it. Always, always. You got to keep your ear, you gotta keep your, uh, ear to the street. You got to uh, pay attention. You got to just look at people. And you got to say to yourself, okay. I'm noticing this trend. How's this going to affect me? You know? And that's in any business. And you pay attention to the people. What's going on? How does that affect your business? Hopefully it can uh, affect it in a positive way. Hopefully. And you can expand on it. But if you notice that it's affecting you negatively, then, then you have to go back to what I said in a previous podcast. You might have to create more products. You're going to have to adapt. Like a lot of mainstream restaurants... 
you heard it here first. They already started expanding their vegan burgers. They're going to start expanding more and more. The smart ones will have stuff. The smart ones always expand, you know? So you might have to do the same thing. Well, not might, you will. It's always changed. That's one thing in business. You always have to keep on top of stuff. So anyway, that's all I got for now, y'all. Y'all know the deal. Let's go make that money. Oh.